constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. The Election Commission previously issued nomination notices to 93 local government bodies out of 341 which had no legal issues. The Elections Commission, however, could not proceed with other 248 local government bodies due to the stay order by the Court of Appeal following a petition filed seeking the invalidation of the Gazette on delimitation. The Commission, however, decided to hold the election in all the local government bodies on the same day following the withdrawal of the petition. Accordingly, notices for nominations were issued for 248 local government bodies today. Speaking to First at Nine, Chairman of the Election Commission Mahinda Deshapriya said the upcoming election will be a massive operation for the Commission. We are going to have the election on one day. Most probably it may be Saturday in month of February. It's the first time in Sri Lankan history. The largest election, we have more than 8,000 candidates and 14,000 polling stations. We have to deploy 200,000 people if we are going to calculate the police personnel also and the other support process, it will be 300,000. Counting at the same polling station, we have to send more than 15 million poll cards. A very massive operation. I think we can conduct free and fair election than earlier what we have experienced. To protect all the candidates' rights, the permanent committee for election complaint, we are going to establish in next week, just after the nomination. Very seriously, we have to check about the violence against women candidates. So we have to start a special unit to protect these women candidates. Nominations of 93 local government bodies where nomination notices were issued previously will be accepted from 11 December to 14 December noon. Nominations of the remaining 248 local government bodies will be accepted from the 18th of December to 21st December noon. The chairman further stated that strict actions over violations of rules and regulations regarding the upcoming elections. They can have election rallies, but they have to get the permission. But no processions in roads, especially in the nomination period because 12th of December GC order level exam is going to start. So we request from the politician and their supporters not to have any procession on roads which can disturb their exams. We have advised the police to deal with them seriously if they are going to disobey our instructions and rules. So we are working with all these uh, observer groups and the political party representatives 